Hey, it's Joel, the 3D Printing Nerd, and we're going to talk about the Robo R2, and we're going to talk about filament. I know publicly I've said that I've had some problems with filament. I know others have as well. So my buddy Josh and I, we decided uh, to do a test. We were going to do a MakerCoin model. It was going to exist in G-code on the machine, and then it was going to be a set of parameters I knew that would work for most all PLA. So we were going to do 205C on the nozzle, 60C on the bed, defaults using RoboCura, and this is what we came up with. So let's talk about these coins. We're gonna talk about the ones that I consider to be good or passing, and then we're gonna talk about these ones that clicked, and then we're gonna talk about the failures, why I think it's failing, and what I've done to mitigate those failures. First, the good coins. Most of these turned out wonderful. It was RoboCura defaults. So the initial height was 0.3 millimeters, and then it went to 0.1 millimeters. Uh, fan control and all of that, everything's set to defaults. On the ones that worked, there was some pillowing. The pillowing is prevalent on some more so than others, but of the ones that worked, you can see that they, they look fine. Uh, the Protopasta Silver Smoke coin, actually, I would consider to be the best performer with little to no pillowing whatsoever. The other coins worked well. Here's the Kodama Aluminum PLA. This is Filaments 3D from Quebec. Cyclone Fill PLA, that worked well. Chromatic PLA, Vert, Vert Menth, is that what it was, Josh? Yeah. Vert Menth, okay, good. Uh, this is another Chromatic. Uh, this is Filamentum, and this is the Raised 3D Colorful PLA. Raised 3D, I believe, is a Polymaker filament, so that's good to know. These are the ones that passed, and these are awesome. Let's set these aside. Next, we move to the filaments that clicked, and by that, I mean they were able to essentially get through a print okay without jamming, but there were problems with the print. So this is the 3D Fuel A PLA, which I've had problems with in the past, and this is the Maker Geeks PLA, and these clicked. This one clicked more than this one. And by clicking, I mean the extruder is trying to push the filament through the throat, out the nozzle, and it can't do it because of a blockage or something in the way or something preventing it. And so it clicks and it tries to push it through again. So there was no jam with these filaments, but they did click. And I thought it was perhaps a temperature issue or something in the machine. And we'll speak to that in just a little bit. On to the ones that jammed and failed. These three filaments, the Orb Polymer PLA, the Poly Smooth, and the ColorFab PLA PHA all jammed in the machine and did not complete a print. The reason they failed is because something got blocked in the path of the filament going through from the extruder to the nozzle, and I think I know what happened. So as you can see, there's a nozzle, a heater block, a throat with fins, and then the top mounting point. If you undo this little screw right there, you can take this out and you can see. So at the top of the throat, there was always a plug of filament in the case of these three. And I think the reason they failed is during points in the print where it was doing a bunch of retractions, the fan in the back couldn't cool the fins fast enough to keep heat creep from affecting the filament. And the filament, when it was doing those retractions, essentially a piece of warm filament would come above the point of the throat at the top and then the filament, when it was being pushed back down, it was soft and it would create that plug, essentially blocking the filament and not letting these prints continue. So why is this happening? I think I have an idea. First, we're filming here in the garage and the robo is in the garage. The, it's been warm here in the Pacific Northwest and so the average temperature of the garage is 80 degrees or more. It's so hot! It's, I, I, it should work just fine, but I, I wanna make sure and call that out because that, that could be a contributing factor. The other thing that I'm worried about is the front plate on the Robo print head. It's a metal plate that's held in place with magnets and I think it's blocking the airflow of the fan, blowing the air across the fins. So with the plate in place, the fan in the back is blowing air across the fins and then it's hitting this plate and stopping. There is a way for the air to escape out the bottom, but the fins are warm. The air going across the fins is cool and then it, it's warmed by the fins and then it hits this metal plate and it stops. So the fan is essentially creating a heat trap and that's not good. So as a test, what I did is I took the metal plate off of the print head and I figured this would allow the fan in the back to cool the fins properly and to lessen the chance of heat creep affecting the filament when doing the retractions during the print. So this was with the Orb Polymer PLA and this had a blockage. I then, with the 
front cover off. I printed it again, and it, it worked. There's a little bit of pillowing, but there was pillowing on the others. But it completed the print, and it completed it successfully. And I had a, a concept that I think worked. So now I was going to send a model that uh, was a little bit tough. It's, uh, it's the Moon City. I think you've seen it, and I'll include a link in the description. It's essentially the city within the moon, and I tried it, and it didn't work. So the, the orb polymer apparently was able to complete the coin, but eventually I think the heat creep caught up, caused a jam, and we didn't have a success. So while the story is great, this is not an example that actually worked. So then what I did is I talked to Josh and I said, hey, I want you to start a print with a filament that worked. So he loaded in this chromatic. It's PLA Argent Pearl. Uh, I got this filament with the Dagaba printer originally, and I thought, well, if it works in the Robo, let me find it here. If it works in the Robo, then it should be able to print this moon base. So did it turn out? Yes. Yes, it did. And I'm not joking when I say this is one of the best prints that I've ever seen. And I can't believe I'm saying that about a machine that's been clicking or jamming. So this model is beautiful and the Robo, it did an amazing job. Not only are the underhangs better, which I, I hope means there was better air control and flow control, but, but look at that, look at that overhang. And it's, it's not bad. Even, even these imperfections lend themselves to the overall look of the model. The model is sturdy. The tiny details are perfect. It's awesome. This looks incredible. So where does this leave us in the grand scheme of things with the Robo R2? Well, it seems to be extremely picky with the filament. And I think that Robo needs to address the hardware design of the head with the magnetic metal plate blocking airflow across the fins, causing what I believe is some heat creep. If you have an R2, I would be really curious to see your results if you take the front plate off of your extruder head and print something. I'm, I'm curious to see if you get better quality or worse quality, or if you're able to print with filaments that you weren't able to print with before. So knowing that this worked, and knowing that this kind of worked, I am gonna try PolySmooth again. I'm gonna try a model with less retractions, essentially a vase mode print. I will try a model with more retractions. We'll do some more tests. We'll see what's happening, but I think we're getting to the bottom of what's causing the filament issues with the Robo. I've talked to Robo, I've told them my concerns, they were very receptive, and we'll see what happens. Well, in the end, it's all about wanting to print all the things, and apparently uh, I've printed all of my maker coins, but it was for a purpose. I think this is very valuable information and I'd love to hear what you think. Beyond that, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. A big thanks to everybody that supports me via Patreon and YouTube Red and if you let the ads play. And finally, don't forget to hug each other more because I love you guys. As always, moon bases are cool and high five.